Good morning, guys. Today we've got that healthy French toast, macro-friendly recipe. It's high in protein, low in fat, and you only need a few simple ingredients. So uh, I definitely recommend the Walden's Farm syrup. I've got both original strawberry, blueberry, there's chocolate syrup, caramel syrup. Um, you're going to need three slices of bread, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, some pasteurized egg whites. I guess they don't really have to be pasteurized, but any egg whites will do. Um, if you've got room for more fat, you can use whole eggs. Uh, I prefer using Splenda and almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. Now, optional uh, ingredients are fresh berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries will all work, and some Greek yogurt. You can either use plain 0% Faye or some vanilla, like uh, the vanilla Chobani. And I'll show you what to do with that next. Alright, step one is to mix two servings of egg whites with 60 grams of unsweetened almond milk and then uh, mix that up with cinnamon to taste as well as uh, about three grams or so of Splenda. Alright, we got 59 grams of almond milk. Now for the egg whites. That'd be 92 grams if you're using this brand, two servings. Went a little bit over. Go ahead and uh, add that into my macros, no big deal. Add a little bit of cinnamon. Is that enough, you think? Splenda doesn't weigh very much, so I just add about uh, two to three grams, and then I add in, there you go, three grams, and I add in two carbohydrates into my fitness pal. You don't have to add your Splenda. Uh, weigh it or anything if you want to. You could just put, uh, say, four teaspoons or four tablespoons. Next, we mix it all up and start with the uh, adding in the three bread slices. All right, so we're gonna take three slices of bread. Uh, doesn't really matter what bread you use. Just plug in the macros for your bread. I weigh my bread. Uh, you don't have to, unless you're trying to get sub five percent. Then you need to be really precise. Uh, these three slices actually came out to 3.1 servings, so, you know, there is some variance. Um, next step is, uh, I like to cook this on a griddle because it's a lot easier to do, but we're going to go ahead and take the bread and dip it into the uh, French toast mixture. And then you're going to cook it on each side for about a minute to two minutes. In the past I was worried about leaving a lot of the uh, the mix in the bowl and then or not having enough bread or vice versa so this recipe is really perfect because you get exactly three slices of bread and it uses up pretty much the entire amount of mixture. Other times when I had leftover mix I was pouring it on top of the bread while I was cooking and it just uh, wasn't really working out perfectly. This one comes out near perfect. All right, so we're going to let that cook. While that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut out 60 grams of strawberries and three ounces of the plain Greek yogurt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to top that onto the French toast when it's done, adds a little bit more protein and tastes delicious. Alright guys, here's the almost finished product. I'm going to go ahead and top, top it with the strawberries. 63. Actually, I'll just put the rest on and then write it down. The strawberries are so low carb. Ended up with uh, 72 grams and then I'm going to toss on some Faye. Alright, so I went ahead and, and used exactly three ounces of Faye. Now I'm going to go ahead and top it with some Walden strawberry. And just a little bit of the regular maple syrup as well. Alright, guys, time to dig in.
macros on this I believe are approximately actually let me double check my fitness pal alright so macros on this were 4 fat 49 carbs and 29 protein and that's with the strawberries and the Greek yogurt so let me know what you guys think if you try this recipe out I do believe you'll enjoy it uh, you can mix it up your own way if you want um, if you got room for extra fats you can go with whole eggs or you can add uh, some peanut butter too which is just delicious but I'm on uh, 35 fats a day so I try to keep it pretty low fat alright guys see you next time cue the outro